My name is Jen Butler, and I used to hate being alive. I blamed everyone else for every issue I had. It was my parents' fault. It was society's fault. It was my boyfriend's fault. But one day, I just woke up, right? I realized I was the only one who could change my life, who could rewrite my mind. And that started me on a decade-long journey that has landed me where I am now. I'm a comedian and content creator with over 175,000 online followers. I've written screenplays. I have a loving partner and family. I'm making this video for you. I totally rewrote my life. And that is what inspired my movie, End of Scene. Meet M and Rory Michaels, a complacent, middle-aged couple. They've been together since elementary school. So by this point, they know their roles in each other's lives, right? M keeps the house immaculate and her body immaculate. Rory goes to work each day. He comes home at the same time. They eat dinner at the same time. They go to bed at the same time. Now their house's decor, it varies from the 1920s gross yellow wallpaper to the 1950s puke green sofa that looks like it would hurt to sit on. And then there's even the 1970s bright pink bathroom. Their house is this melting pot of the past. One night, M is shocked awake from her perfect slumber in her frilly pink nightgown by a thunderstorm and a little girl and little boy standing in her bedroom. She stumbles after them, struggling to get her balance. She's holding a stiletto as an impromptu weapon, but they aren't a threat. They just want her to dance with them in the rain. She hesitates, but eventually she tries to walk outside and some force is holding her back. She cannot leave the house. Oh, she freaks out. She shakes Rory trying to wake him up. He's out. She tries multiple ways to leave. When that doesn't work, she starts tossing furniture, ripping down the old wallpaper, and then the wallpaper reattaches itself. The furniture moves itself back. Everything is resetting. So now she's been broken out of her redundant routine, right? That trance of routine. And she doesn't make breakfast for her husband the next morning. But Rory sits down right on time and goes through the motions of eating as if there's food in front of him. Oh, at this point, Em is pissed. She screams, she even flashes him, licks his face, bangs on pots and pans, whatever she can to get his attention, but he continues engaging with their daily dialogue, even though she's no longer an active participant in that repeated scene. So she blames him. Oh, it must be his fault that she's stuck, just like I blamed everyone else for my being stuck. M finds cryptic clues written in her handwriting that she does not remember writing or hiding, and they lead her on this journey that lands her disheveled in the bathroom with a bucket on her head, having a huge existential breakthrough realization that maybe this isn't a house at all, but a physical representation of her subconscious mind, and maybe she is the one keeping herself stuck. We're all guilty of it. As M solves more clues, a locked cellar door appears in their kitchen floor, Rory awakens from his trance. Their passion reawakens, but then she learns an unfortunate truth. He loves the routine. He doesn't want to leave or change the house. When she and Rory find the key to the locked cellar, Em must decide between staying with her husband in the comfortable yet unfulfilling routine or explore whatever it is that hides in the mysterious cellar in the depths of her subconscious mind. I'm Jen Butler, and that is the surreal fantasy end of scene.